record our carol concert for Christmas Day, which will be lovely. And Liam is here now with the weather. He went a bit macho today, didn't you, with the weather, because it was so well, mild. No need for a coat in this weather, is there? T-shirt and shorts. I've All the heating on. I've seen so many people with short Don't sleeves start. because it's been so mild, but uh, change coming tomorrow. It was a wet start this morning, though. The sun eventually came through over Swanage Pier. Jill Richards behind the camera here. Roy Venkatesh spotted lovely rainbow. That's Sherburne St John near Basingstoke. And a beautiful sunset over Radley Lake in Abingdon. That's this evening, thanks to Becca Collicott. Now, over the next week or so, the trend is going to be for a lot of mild weather, but there'll be occasional incursions of something colder, and that's the case tonight. Now, we had the earlier rain, which came courtesy of this front here. It's called a cold front, as its name suggests. Behind it is something cold. You may well have noticed a subtle change through this afternoon and something fresher moving across, some colder air tucking in behind overnight. Now, there could just be one or two showers around this evening, mainly across parts of Wiltshire, western parts of Oxfordshire. They will fade and the night will be dry. We'll have mostly clear skies. And in shelter from the breeze, well, some rural spots could get down to one or two Celsius, so a touch of frost in places. Those valleys there are for the centre of town and along the coast. But a nip in the air tomorrow morning, but a crisp bright start, plenty of sunshine. The cloud will tend to build as the day wears on, but it will be a dry day. Mild again, brisk southwesterly winds pushing that mild air across to highs tomorrow up to around 12 Celsius. Tomorrow night, more in the way of cloud, one or two showers filtering across, but also some drier and some clearer conditions. But it will be a mild night with temperatures almost back up into double figures at around 9 or 10 Celsius. So notice some rain to the northwest and that's heading our way on Thursday. And it's our next front approaching from the Atlantic, pushing outbreaks of rain across during Thursday. Now, for a time, it's likely to become heavy and persistent. Parts of Hampshire, Sussex, Isle of Wight, not seeing it at first, but eventually that rain will settle in. And we'll see an improvement across parts of Oxfordshire and Wiltshire during Thursday afternoon, but it may take its time to clear from eastern areas. But temperatures, again, in double figures quite easily. 11 or 12 Celsius. Now, this front is giving us a few headaches. It does clear away during Thursday evening, but look what happens during Friday. It starts to push up again from the south, but there's some uncertainty as to the exact placement of that front, so keep an eye on the forecast if you can over the coming days. But tomorrow looks dry, mild, bright and breezy, some outbreaks of rain on Thursday. Some of that may return during Friday and potentially on Saturday as well, so keep an eye on the forecast if you can. Sally, back to you. Alina, thank you very much for that. Now, um, we've got so much in the programme tonight, been so busy that we're fully booked for our Hotels with History series. So we're going to bring it to you tomorrow. We're going to feature the Chine Hotel in Boscombe. Now, in post-war Britain, stars of stage and screen frequently stayed there while appearing at nearby theatre. There they are. Guests included Laurel and Hardy <laughs> during their farewell tour of Britain. So be with us tomorrow night. Final film in Hotels with History. That's it from us this evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, I used to love